Okay, so the anime name is Mashiroiro Symphony. It's got like a 7 on my anime list. It's a harem romance anime. It's probably one of the most underrated harem romance animes I've ever seen. And I've watched way too many of those for my own good. Okay, so the plot is pretty much... Um, there's this elite premium girls only school, but uh, their principal wants to experiment a bit, seeing how these girls will deal with regulars, students and guys. So our protagonist and half his class are enrolled into this premium girls school and shenanigans ensue. Okay, so yeah, the plot is nothing special. It isn't gonna fucking blow your mind. I mean, don't don't expect much from the plot, obviously. So yeah, let's go with the pros. We have a great male lead. Yeah, he's uh, dependable, he's reliable, and he can be extremely decisive when it comes to it. And sometimes he genuinely has unlimited risk. Like he is one of the better harem protagonists, actually. Uh, what else? Yeah, we have one zero eight zero P. Great animation, great music. This anime is from like two thousand eleven, but the animation is still pretty great. Yeah, uh, romance is the main theme of this anime, probably followed by slice of life and drama, so that's also good. Yeah, and there's like uh, this animal rehabilitation club in the anime, so you get pretty cute animal scenes and stuff, so that's obviously an advantage. The ending, the ending is great. No, for, an, for a harem anime, the ending is like genuinely good, like, I'll cover that later. Okay, so let's go over the cons. It, I mean, it doesn't really have too many cons, to be honest. Like, if I were to think it would be... Yeah, one character sounds eternally horny, but I, I got used to it, and you probably will too. Uh, oh yeah, the first one and a half episodes are just pretty bad. Like pretty bad like the first episode gave me yosuga no sora flashbacks and that that made me mentally prepared to consume some morally bankrupt garbage but luckily it defied my expectations there so i i couldn't be happier yeah it's just the first one and a half episodes they insert a lot of you know harem cliche bullshit like uh, the male lead face plants into a pair of tits he runs into the girl's washroom he sees them naked. Just, you know, the harem lead superpowers, like, they added all that. and So I was expecting some garbage as generic harem anime. But no, it's uphill from there. Like, the latter half of the second episode, the third episode, it's it's straight up uphill from there. So just, just give the, just sit through the first one and a half episodes. And I, I, I promise, it's, it's a good anime. Okay. So, while I was doing my bare minimum to edit this rant of mine, I noticed I forgot about something, so I'll just add that in here. Most harem animes follow an extremely set path where, like, you're immediately introduced to the main female lead, and you're like, yep, these two will get together. Or it'll be, like, an ambiguous bullshit path where it'll end with the protagonist loving everybody equally or some bullshit like that. But yeah... This anime, you know, it, it isn't like that. It does not follow the set path. For example, for the first six episodes, you can see where it's going. You're like, yep, these two will get together for sure. But then for the next couple episodes, it's genuinely like it could be anyone. Like there's development here. Yeah, it could be anybody. But then after that, they actually confess and get together. So it, it does not follow the set path. Like it, it kind of defies your expectations. So for the best experience, just binge watch it without any spoilers. Like I tried, I was trying my best to go through the character section without dropping any spoilers. So it's, it's a bit bad, but bear with me here. But just do not go into spoilers for this one. Just give it a binge watch. Okay, so let's go over the characters now. Okay, let's go over the main lead. I obviously spoke about him a bit. Like there's not too much to say about him. He's not like... A complex, nuanced character with like a tragic backstory. Nah, no, it's it's nothing like that. He's just he's just a competent, reliable male lead. He's decisive when it comes to it. And yeah, like he goes for it. In his harem, there is a girl he likes. He straight up confesses. She reciprocates his feelings. And they start dating. 
and all of this does not happen in the last episode this was genuinely the most pleasant surprise i could ask for he knows what he wants he isn't like he doesn't have mixed feelings there's nothing like that he knows exactly what he wants and he goes for it so instead of like talking more about him i'll just like go through like two instances from this anime okay so there's this part where one of the girls sips coffee or something and hands him the cup in most romance animes what would happen the male lead would have panic blush and have an internal monologue like oh my god it's an indirect kiss what do i do and that would waste like fucking 10 minutes of the episode half episode gone and then he would drink it and the male lead would then realize it's an i mean the female lead would then realize it's an indirect kiss and then she would panic and then she would beat his ass or something but no what what happens in this anime he takes the cup and before drinking he's like this is an indirect kiss are you okay with it and she's like yeah i'm okay with it if it's you but i wouldn't really do it with any other guy and it's resolved then and there like it's 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 just nice man it's it's pleasant it's it's refreshing uh and uh, yeah there's another situation where after he starts after he confesses and starts dating one of the other girls from one of the other girls like in an extremely inaudible voice says something along the lines of uh, when you get brutally dumped by the girl you're dating and you feel miserable i wouldn't mind being your girlfriend which is a straight up confession by the way but like she never gave hints till then so in this situation most male leads would have a mental breakdown or something and start blushing and jump out of the window but here he straight up doesn't bat an eye and says something along the lines of i would never date you to replace anyone that would be an insult to you so that is the level of male lead we're talking about so yeah he's just pretty much a great male lead and he's one of the reasons this anime is very entertaining okay So I'll talk about the other characters there isn't too much to say about them so I'll keep it short there's the male lead sister she is generally a pleasant character to watch she isn't annoying or anything uh there's the blonde there's the blonde person who's the popular smart type who's like out of reach or something like that uh, she is generally a good character she never accept guys or something she had some reason for that uh, but she grows closer to the male lead and she is pretty reasonable so she is a pretty good character uh we have the senpai we have the purple haired uh, senpai character who's like one year senior to the protagonist i think um she's she's the uh kind gentle type uh who pushes herself too hard without telling others she's like she's a great character too she's responsible for the animal rehabilitation club or something she loves animals So yeah she's a pretty good character too then we have the uh, redhead who like absolutely hates guys uh, she's a sundere she beats the male lead every now and then but she has character growth she has her own arc it's 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 great i guess then there's the maid there isn't much to say about her uh, her voice is kind of annoying but she too gets character development etc etc So yeah these are the other characters uh, so yeah one more thing like i'd like to mention this anime is like 18 plus it has mild nudity this could genuinely be like a 13 plus anime they did not need to make this 18 plus don't get me wrong i am not complaining here but like you see nipples like two or three times so like why did they make it 18 plus like the nipples don't even play a major role like it doesn't contribute to the plot or anything so like that's confusing oh yeah there's there's another scene over here there's a scene where the male lead sees one of the girls completely naked what would usually happen in this situation huh he would get the living daylights beaten out of him when it was not his fault here but in this anime no they genuinely have a conversation after that and apologize to each other So like I I I I can't help it man this this anime is underrated I I do not know why more people haven't watched this anime the couple they the couple is actually formed male lead actually gets together with one of the girls they start dating before the last episode 
Oh god damn it the ending is also great. Uh, yeah, I've 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 gushed enough about this anime. So yeah, it's a great harem anime. It's a great romance anime. I mean, don't expect anything. Don't go in with high expect don't go in with extremely high expectations and do not go in with spoilers. Like I haven't this I haven't gone into any spoilers. I don't want to go into spoilers. So yeah, just just give it a watch. It's it's genuinely enjoyable. It's it's genuinely good anime.